some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have a frauder that goes by the channel name Auditors of America Last Days of Freedom. In this video, the frauditor baits the cop into a confrontation which ultimately costs the uh, officer his job. In addition, the frauditor brought his daughter along for the ride. So just to let you know, this is one messed up video. It was sent to me last night by a subscriber and he told me that there would be a lot to unpack and there certainly is. This is just one of those unfortunate cases where the frauditor ultimately won the day. So let's sit back, relax, and get through this video together. Stop. Yeah, it's her candy. I apologize. It fell out. Get on your knees. Put your hands behind your back. Sir? Sir? What the fuck are you Sir? doing? Sir. Dude. Sir. Make on my phone, man. Sir. Sam! Hey, take my phone. What are you doing? Hey, what we're homeless. Get, get back. the fuck off me. Get hey, back. We're homeless. You ain't a cop, man. And we're, we're just fine. walking. Show me your bag. We're just walking across. What the fuck, man? I didn't do nothing. All I did was fucking ask your name. Am I going to have a problem with you? No. My daddy. You smashed my fucking phone, okay. man. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. Can we please just walk off? Can you please let me the fuck off? Nope. Now, this is where the video began. So, I don't know what escalated the whole situation. All I know is at the end of the video uh there was an issue of uh littering on the officer's yard that took place prior to the confrontation but that's all i really know so i have no idea other than that but given that i've seen a lot of frauditors antagonized cops this was probably just one of those issues where the uh frauditor Push the right buttons until he got what he wanted. Stop, stop, stop. No, stop, get stop. the fuck off me, man. Stop. Stop. Give me my phone. Give me my take phone. phone. Take your phone. Please Listen stop. to me. We're just trying to watch your the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Right. Jamal, let's just go. Stop, don't go. Stop. Let's just go. Stop. Look, we're just trying to watch I'm not being detained by you. Yes, we're just trying to watch your phone. Get out of the roads so your kid doesn't get hit. We're just trying to watch your phone. Guys, guys, please. We're just trying to Fuck you. You assaulted me, dude. And it's on video. Stop. No. We tried that. Okay. Call the cops. They're not going to do nothing. Because I didn't do nothing wrong. You assaulted me. I need an officer at 400. Yes, I was assaulted. You get the money. I don't want my daddy I don't want your daddy to go to jail either, so stop. Get in the buggy. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. See what you're doing to my daughter, dude? You fucking tired piece of shit. We're just trying to let you. You're sure they not helping with the screaming right now and at this point the officer has calmed down while you're still trying to escalate the situation which makes me wonder why are you not showing what transpired before the fight very suspicious on your part very disruptive. oh because I'm, he just attacked me come here i want my dad i have it on video stay out of it Jeremiah, stop. Jeremiah, just stop. It's not worth it. Let's just go. My name's William. Oh, my God. William is his name. Still real good? I'm just trying to walk the Kroger. Get the fuck away from, away from me. Stay away from me. I would just like to walk the Kroger. No, we're leaving. No, no, no. You're not you, going You're not a cop to detain me. for the police officer. You are not a cop. Hey, he's trying to kidnap me. Help. Yeah, Help. Me. He's trying to say I'm trying to kidnap him now. He's trying to hold me against my will. Yeah, of course. Yeah, sure. He's trying to kidnap you. He's so aggressively doing it right now. Get, come on. Walk now. Walk now. Walk now. You ain't married to him. You married to me. You better come on. Fuck you, dude. Hey, I You're a tired piece of shit if you're a cop. He identified as a cop. At, so, if he's not really a cop, this dude pretended to be a cop. I want my daddy to get a jail. Oh, okay. We don't want your daddy to get a jail. Okay. 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 Okay.
Really? You just fucking attacked me! Sir, you're starting to scare me and you're making me nervous. You just attacked me! Okay. Yeah, you're lucky you didn't get shot, dude. Please. I haven't seen any weapons. They're homeless. No, we that don't mean I don't have weapons. We don't have All right, any well, now he's threatening me when he's saying he has a weapon. No, I didn't fucking threaten you. It's on video, you liar! I said because I'm homeless don't mean I don't have weapons. He didn't, say, he didn't say he had a weapon. He said because I'm homeless doesn't mean I don't have a weapon. We don't have any weapons. You assaulted me and attacked me. <laughs> We're gonna be at uh, Tivoli and Bracey. Come on, let's go. <laughs> yeah, you, you're fucking crazy, dude. You're fucking psycho. What's his address? I'm gonna put this all over fucking YouTube. I got a very big YouTube channel, you piece of shit. Oh, and there you go, typical frauditor. Gonna try to dox the cops so people will come after him. That is really sad and pathetic. Oh, and speaking of the size of your channel, you've got just over 10,000 subscribers, roughly about 600,000 views. With many of your videos not even making it to a thousand views. So at this point, you're just blowing smoke up everybody's ass over that. Let's get his plate numbers on his truck. His last plate is... You're going to jail, dude. Yeah. No way. Jeremiah Payne is my fucking name. Tell them. They know who I am. And they know what I do. You're going to jail, bitch. Yeah, white belt. My name's Jeremiah Payne. Birthday 5378. Is anything else you want to know, piece of shit? Yeah, they're coming. I'm going to stay because he's going to jail. I have it on video. He assaulted me and identified as a cop. Yeah. Okay, don't do it. That's not nice. No, no, no. Yeah, no. Right. Sam, get back. Walk away from him. He's fucking crazy. I don't know. Really? Does he have any weapons on him? No. It's none of your business. Yeah, it's not. Any yeah, you, of you, your hey, you be quiet. And you're not helping me. Come on, stop. No. That's none of his fucking business. Okay, the answer to the question yeah. no, yes, it is. You got any weapons on you? From a bag of trash to a I know, bunch I, of men. Yeah, Which wasn't a bag of trash, it was a bag of candy. I mean, I, I, Yeah, all because I pulled my camera out and asked your name. You fucking assault me. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't hear the dispatcher. Then you fucking go back to your house and leave me and my family alone. All right, look, can you just talk to me like a normal human? No, dude, you fucking attacked me. Oh You're going to jail. What were you asking? What were you asking the uh, dispatcher? He's got a, uh, a wife and a child with him. At this point, I am just going to skip ahead to when the cops attempt to resolve the situation. Because the frauditor, sure as hell, is not de-escalating the situation. Which still leaves me to believe that he started the whole thing and he's just not going to show it. Five minutes later... This is where he lives, everybody. <laughs> Springfield, Tennessee. Oh yeah, that's a real wonderful tactic, frauditor. Send people to his house so they can deal with him. You are the lowest of the low. I know he said his name was William. That's what he told a uh, dispatch. <laughs> a little longer than a few minutes later. Mr. Payne, is all right if he speaks with you for a moment? As long as you stand here while he does. Yes, sir, of course.
Is your body cam going? Yes. Okay. Jeremiah. Is that your name? Mm-hmm. Okay. Detective William Thorogood with Metro Police. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm not trying to hurt you. Don't want to scare you. And I'm really sorry for the confrontation I had in front of your child. Okay? I feel really bad about that. And I just want to apologize to you. So I am sorry for upsetting your kid, especially around the holiday season. So. Yeah, because she's never going to forget that now. And she's going to look at cops as pieces of shits because of you. Oh, no, 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 no. If she gets a hatred for cops, it's because you educated her to do so. And besides, she's right at that point where infantile amnesia will be starting to kick in, which that is simply a process that the brain goes through as it uh, goes through the childhood years. You start to forget your childhood as you go along. Everybody goes through it. It's nothing special. But I can guarantee you, you're going to try to make her remember this for a long time to come. And you're especially going to keep this video to drill into her head that the cops traumatized her. And she's going to develop that hatred of the cops because you are going to be feeding into that. You're absolutely right. I'm taking that into consideration. Apologize to you. I try to teach my kid that not all cops are bad. There are good cops, and then you come out and do shit I'm like that. I'm trying to be a good one, so please I, just hear me out, okay, Jeremiah? All right, can you hear me out? I hear yeah. you. All right. Let me just swallow my pride here and say I apologize for upsetting you and your family, okay? Thank you. That, 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 that's what I'm trying to say. Do I get right. it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not going to take for you guys during the holidays. I'm going to go season, get him okay? the nugget. So... I try to be man enough and apologize, which is a hard thing for cops to do. Mm -hmm. And I just hope that you know, <laughs> you know man enough and accept my apology. It's okay? hard thing I for just anybody. didn't like the litter in my yard. That's yeah. All. It, that, that's all she it. didn't mean to drop it, but to it really go to that crazy. extent because I pulled out my phone and asked you for your name and badge number. Really, come on now. That that, that he, he that's being. No, I, I get that. No, he's right. No, but on, that's being a tyrant. Jeremiah, listen to me. Do you not agree with that? 100% you're right and I apologize and I want you to understand how hard it is for me to oh I know how hard it is for cops I know I'm a first amendment auditor I know okay. all right well that's we need more people like you in this world I'll extend my hand to you if you're man enough to shake it oh I'm man enough to shake your hand this was a most unfortunate situation right here the cop self-reported himself to the authorities and was stripped of his badge and sidearm pending an investigation so the fraudster got what he wanted this time, and he's probably going to sue. Not every one of these fraudster stories has a happy ending. Sometimes Thanos wins.